Okay, welcome back to my channel guys, and I'm just going to go through these three bunker concepts that I've designed to show you. Um, well, I did have some help. Um, my friend uh, Zipic also helped me design some of these when we were collabing on a base design. So I just want to shout him out. So I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below. So make sure you go check him out. So first off, before I actually go into the contents and how the bunkers work, I just want to explain that these are high quality foundations. So they can be soft sided from the top. So I would recommend um, doing something along the lines of this and each one. You could seal these up like so and you could put I don't know two two small boxes in there or if you really want it a bit bigger um, like so there's something along the lines of this Just make these sheet metal obviously make these sheet metal and uh, it will basically mean that if you think people are gonna more likely raid from the outside have these hard side facing in if you don't think so, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'd have them like that. You can fit three large in there. So just remember that you need to protect these foundations from the top with some kind of sheet metal or something. Okay, so moving on to the actual bunker themselves. So what we've done is in all three of these bunkers, I've put the uh, level three workbench or whatever workbench you have inside the bunker. And the reason for this is if people want to use six jackhammers to do this, it is five. You can do it in five, but I mean, you're, you're literally rinsing the jackhammers to their bare bones, which takes forever. So most people would use six. Um, so if you have your jackhammer in your base, they've only got to run, refill the jackhammer, come back and start hitting. Whereas when the workbench is inside the bunker, they have to travel to their raid base or quite far away every time they want to refill their jackhammer, which actually causes a big problem for raiders. So I just want to say that these level, the workbenches are in all three of these bunkers. So this is the smallest bunker of all three, and it's probably the hardest one to get in and out of, I would say. So what we've got is we've got a level three workbench and the TC. You've got only got one sleeping bag in this one, and then you've got two large boxes and three small boxes and a drop box okay so you've got quite a lot of storage for what you get and you've got a campfire the upkeep is that 200 frags 11 hqm and 63 stone it is just crazy cheap to jump out it is a bit awkward you kind of have to jump on here and then jump up onto the tc and to seal the bunker you can seal it from the inside or the outside you just put one double door frame in twig and then you just seal it up. And the problem with this one is it costs um, three triangles to seal it up. So it's like 21 HQM when you log off for the night. But that is now a beautifully sealed bunker. And then all you do is when you come online, you just. I mean, if you're online and you want to seal your bunker, just seal it with sheet metal, I would recommend, because it's only a bit of sheet metal and it still gives you that protection. Totally up to you how you want to play it. So I'm going to move on to the next one. So this one here is bigger and it also has another feature to it. So as you can see now, we've got on the inside of this bunker, we've got the level three workbench, a TC and two sleeping bags, which is obviously more suitable for duos. Come inside and you've got two large, one, two, three, four, and five small. And the reason why we've got this small here is so you can jump up out nice and easy. And another strong feature about this bunker design is these three triangles stay sealed like so and the only one you need to seal is this one and by, to do that you put a double door frame and you seal that up here like so and then you just break this out and you have to crouch jump out of there. It can be a little bit awkward, but it's not that bad. So this one is a lot cheaper to seal because it only costs you the seven. And then the last bunker over here is this one here. And again, it's pretty cheap to seal. It's a square and a triangle. But another one good about this is it's one less foundation on the outside than the other ones in high coil. And it's got your T TC, level three workbench, two large and four small. And upkeep again is absolutely tiny, only eight high qual, 250 frags. And there we go. And this one is just the same as the others. You can seal it from the inside or the outside. Seal it up like so. And then 
spawn inside. Either one of your team can do it. Break it and it pops it open like so. Right, so what I'll do is I will show you how to build each one of these bases. Okay guys, let's get straight into this first bunker. So, what you want to do first is find a flat terrain. So this is pretty flat, it's not the flattest, but it will do. Obviously we've got a slight gradient going up towards mainland, but that's fine. So what we do is we grab our triangle foundations, and what we do is we face towards mainland. So, because that's the highest point. So what we do is we raise our triangle up to its very highest point, like so, but we don't place it there, we bring it down a tiny bit. Keep coming down slowly. See, it just comes down a tiny bit, and that should be enough to help us place all our high triangles. Then what we do is we come down, and then we come down with three on the floor, basically, like so. Do get a small box to check you can place stuff on it, because if the water's going over it, you won't be able to place any items on it, and that is a big problem. Then we come up top, and we go all the way around with high triangles. That can't place one, then we do need to move slightly to try and find that sweet spot where we can. Okay, so once they're all on, what we do is we don't need this foundation. So our floor plan should look something like this. Okay, what we do next is we need to come off of this foundation here, one of these, doesn't matter which one, like so, and put a low down, and it's, see it's not letting me on this side, so that's no problem, I'll do this one on its own, and down, and down again, then we remove this one, and go down again, and we remove this one, and go down again. I think I've done that a little bit long-winded, but at the end of the day, we just need one one of these corner pieces here, one of these two here, or one of these two here, not to be a full foundation, it has to be on the floor, and I'll show you why that is. We make this sheet, and then what we do is we place two half walls on these, make them sheet, and then we go with the triangle floor, and what that allows us to do is place a triangle floor inside of one of our HQM foundations. So what I do is make these sheet, and then what we can do is we can go and make our HQM foundation. So it's only five of them, and they only cost 13 HQM each, so it's not that much. There we go, like so. And then the rest of these on the outside can be sheet metal. This text. Which stops anyone seeing that there's HQM there. Apart from this one here, it does now need more half walls. So, and a triangle foundation. So that's all done from the outside now, as you can see. And then we'll just drop inside and we can make these stone. So, and what we can do now is we can place that triangle there. We won't do it quite yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the level three workbench if you have one. So, what we do is we just walk this into the corner so those back legs are touching flush on the wall, like so. It's a, it's a bit too hard to get two boxes in there just due to the way it is. So what we do is we're just going to put one butted up onto this side. And then we're going to rotate it so it is out the way. Then just come up outside and we're going to get a TC. And we're going to place the TC tucked in as best we can next to the level 3 workbench like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get our sleeping bag in which goes around about here like so and it's giving me problems placing that I don't know why one second there we go I'm gonna place our sleeping bag like so and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the triangle floor to make that stone as well and then we can start placing some boxes so we can get a large in here and small, I think we can get small in here as well. There we go. And I'd normally put a campfire in that one, so I'll just pop a campfire in there. Put a campfire in that one. So, and then on the top, we need to rotate the way the boxes are placed. So we place the large this way around on this one, and the small over here. It just makes it easier for getting in and out of the actual base. Easiest way to place that over here. 
like so. And then last but not least, we get a drop box, and we should be able to place this drop box on the wall, like so. And there we have it, guys. That is the cheapest uh, one bag one out of these three bunkers. And then I have shown you how to seal it already. Place that. Seal it up. Okay, let's move on to the next bunker. Okay, guys, so bunker number two. So we've got a bit more of a gradient on the floor on this one, so it makes it quite a lot harder to place, but I'll do my best to try and do it first time. So what we do is we just pick a spot, which is going to be the height, looks like the highest piece of floor, and we go up to its maximum, and then what we do is because there's more of a gradient, we do need to come down slightly more than we did on the last one. So what we do is we come down, and the floor plan's the same, but we add one extra triangle, like so. We check still place things on it and then what we do is we just go around and see if we can get these triangles like so looking good so far we've covered the lowest spot as well now so we should go all the way around like so there we go we've covered it all the way around we actually don't need this triangle here and the reason for that is because these two are high qual and these are going to cover it but then before, again before we start the build we need a floor in here so we need to turn one of these two into a low foundation so to do that we place a medium one break the one and then get the low one down that jumped up um, there we go so we've got the low one and then what we can do is we can break this one because we don't need that one now what we can do is put two half walls Keep metal this up, place the floor, the sheet, and then place that floor inside our HQ1 and sheet metal that up, like so. So this should be our floor plan, like so. Hang on, I've missed one out, it's not a problem. There we go. So once we've got that sheet metal piece in there, we can make our high quality metal ones. And these are, again, like I said, only 13 each, one extra on this design. Once that's done, we can go around with the sheet metal, cover up all this stuff at the end. So, and lastly, again, we seal this up. So, there we go. Then what we can do is we can drop inside and make these stone. Um, I mean, obviously, base is probably the base you build is going to have some stone in it. If you're going to go for a full metal base, obviously don't put stone in for this tiny bit. That's totally up to you. Okay, so now what we'll do is move on and how to furnish the inside of this. So what we want to do first is place this floor triangle and make the stone. And then we do need to spend a little bit of time on this box placement because we do need them tucked in. Um, as best we can over in these corners so we'll just keep bringing that out until I can get that in there that looks pretty good I'll go with that and I'll just put the bottom one in as well so just clip that through the wall make sure it's coming through pretty even like so tuck that, oh that was it then tuck that in there so that looks pretty good so then what we're going to do next is go with the level 3 workbench so I'm going to clip this through the wall as well, make sure the legs are pretty much level on the back, so that's too close. I think that was the best placement I could get then. Okay, so just take your time on this. go that looked pretty good so that was like looks pretty flush to the wall so I think we can work with that so what we do then is we're gonna go with too small like so rotate this out of the way and place another one underneath now what I'm hoping we can still do now is we can place this bag here tucked in as best we can then we need our TC and this needs to be tucked into this corner so and hopefully we can still fit a small box here 
There we go. And then we should be able to fit another sleeping bag in here. And then what we can do is we can go ahead with some more smalls. Like so. Maybe so I've just rushed that and made a mess of that. Let's just try and go in. Easily able to get two in there. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so I'm not even going to waste time trying to get that in there. So there we go, and then we can put another small up in there, because there we go. Guys, so we've got five five small, two large, and everything else that we need to go in. And then this base here is slightly different than the other ones. Should have probably put this in before I placed everything else, but I didn't. Um, I would recommend making this um, stone or sheet metal, totally up to you, um, before you start placing all this. And then what that basically means is all of these three HQM. And then the only way in and out your bunker is just like so. There we go, sealed. You are out. Okay guys, right, so what we'll do now is we'll move on to the third bunker. Okay guys, so bunker number three. So what we're going to do is we're going to head face towards the mainland and we are going to go with our high triangle at this highest point and we're going to bring it down just a tiny bit like so. I'm going to come down and we're going to go with a square and a triangle like so. Then when we come up top, we do need to go around this with triangles and squares on this one and I can't place that already. Fine. Triangle here, so I'm going to go go to say here, so go up to the highest point, bring it down a touch, like so, we're going to go down with the square triangle, check I can still place box on it, I can, and let's go round, so fingers crossed, we can make it, squares, this is the hardest bit, it's going to be a bit of terrain, we've made it round, which is very good, so go square, which won't let me place, um, can I go with the triangle back up? I can. Can I get the square there? No, that is quite frustrating. Um, I mean, you could quite comfortably build off that because you can just go apples like so. If you wanted. Um, just want to let you know that we can still we can still build off this. It's not a problem. It's still not a problem. So. What we want to do after that is we need to, we don't need this one here, but we do need to turn one of these two in to have the sheet metal inside. So to do that, we come over here and we want to go hat that one and then remove this. This one needs to go to the floor and then we can remove this one. Now we've got one the floor. We've got one hat in there. Once that's done, we can sheet this up. Then we can place our triangle, make that sheet. And then we can place another triangle inside the foundation and that sheet metal. While we're here, I'm going to make these sheets because they were the awkward squares that didn't allow me to place. Um, you can go all the way around with foundation, but unfortunately, it didn't work out for me making this video. That's fine. Uh, once we've done that, we can then make all these HQM, just the ones that surround the bunker. Like so, and then what we do is we protect all of them with the layer of sheet we have done. And last off, this. Like so, and there we go. We've got the new shape bunker all surrounded by sheet metal. So then what we're going to do is we're going to drop inside and make these stone, like so. And what we're going to place first is our level three workbench. So gonna get this tucked into the corner as best we can like so and we're gonna place two boxes we're gonna place one box in here but it up to this side because I believe when we rotate this we can access it through this side then if we place our TC correctly we should place another small in the gap between the workbench and the TC so that doesn't look too bad so we should be able to get a box in here like so 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to place our sleeping bags. So the first sleeping bag is going to go here. I don't know why that's not... Um, let's rotate this. It might help us get that placement of this sleeping bag. There it was. Tucked all nice in there. And then we need to get the other... Rotate this back. And we should be able to get the other one in here as well. There we go. Like so. That's worked out lovely. And then what we can do is place a floor piece in here and make this stone. And then what we're going to do is get some large. And we squeeze up one large in there and one large up here. Like so. There we go. And then we can fit our smalls in. It doesn't matter how you want to place these. Like so. And then we can get a campfire. And place that in the gap. No, 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 no. Oh, what a shame. There we, go. there we go. So then we've got our two large and we've got four small and the two sleeping bags. And our upkeep there is then stupidly low. And to seal this one, it's the same as the others. You just seal it whether you're in or out. It doesn't make any difference. So, and there we go. 13 and 7. This one's a little bit more expensive to seal but it give you, I think this one gives you a better floor plan so that is why we have gone with this one me and Zipic in our um, collaborated base that we've built we're gonna use this this one and then you just move it and there we go guys that is the three new types of bunkers that we've got I've also got some more in the pipeline so stay tuned for them um, I've got a bunker type of design using foundations that are high but I've also got a low foundation inside these with roofs two roofs poking through that, that aren't splashable when they're hit from the peak and if they splash one side and hit one roof um, it doesn't affect the other one so stay tuned for that that'll be coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys later